All right, at this time, some of the equipment we will need for this particular experiment is a stopwatch of some sort, also a 500 milliliter beaker. We have a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. We have a 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder. Thank you. A couple helpers, and we have a sink that is running at a steady rate. We're going to measure the amount of water that runs out of the sink in a 15 second period and use that measurement or experiment to try and predict how long it will take to fill a 500 milliliter beaker and a 1000 milliliter graduated cylinder. First thing we need to get ready is the stopwatch. I have a helper here with the stopwatch and when the other student places the graduated cylinder underneath the constant flow of water we will start the stopwatch on my signal. When I signal to stop at 15 seconds we will pull the graduated cylinder out from underneath the water and then use that measurement to make a prediction. Please hold the stopwatch over just a little bit more this way. Thank you. So get ready to start. Get ready to start gentlemen and begin. When I say stop, you will both stop. Stop. Right at approximately 15.3 seconds, or 15 and 3 tenths seconds, and we have the graduated cylinder. Please hold that up. If we get down on level to try and check the graduated cylinder, you can see the measurement is right at about 31 and a half milliliters. 31 and a half milliliters is how long it took in 15 and 3 tenths seconds. So, using this mini experiment, let's predict how long it will take to fill the 500 milliliter beaker at this same rate and the 1000 milliliter graduated cylinder.